Right, I, I should have, and I just spilled my tea on my computer. Wow. Okay, let's see if my computer still works. It's working? Are we working here? Hey, I'm Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. Back in the day, I was in a boy band called Plus One. We signed to Atlantic Records, worked with mega producer David Foster, and sold over a million copies. These days, I'm producing for others and making music for film and TV commercials. When I'm not doing that, you'll find me here releasing my own music, reactions, and unique approaches to music production. All right, I'm back. Back at it. Trying to do some more reaction videos. Um, thank you for your patience. If you're new to my channel, I'm a full-time music producer. Um, and so when I get the chance, I, I like to do these reaction videos. Um, also, if you're new, um, whether you're new or you've subscribed, you know that I've been reacting um, mainly to BTS, some K-pop bands, um, for the past like four or five months. I think it's five months. Are we pushing six months? Anyway, it's been less than half a year. I think it's been five months. Five months, and I have learned so much. I did it by accident. I'm a, you know, I'm a former boy band member. I love pop music and vocals, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna do a reaction video. Might as well do it to BTS. I didn't know about BTS. I didn't know much about BTS. I knew they were famous and big, and I thought, I'll just check them out. And uh, I reacted to one of their videos, and that was the beginning of a journey that is I've learned so I've learned oh I've gained a whole new respect for BTS. I've learned so much about them just from the comments from the big community. Thank you for the army. Um, and I've been having so much fun. I even record I even did a, a cover of one of their songs, Fake Love. Go check it out. And I have plans to do more. So hopefully there's more out when when you watch this years later down the road. Um, but anyway, I um so that being said. I've learned so much from you guys. Thank you for the community. But many of you have said, I need to react to, or at least watch, uh, Taylor's Guide, or a, a guide to BTS members. The Bing Ting 7. Am I saying that right, Bing Ting? Um, by Taylor Marie. So I got the video. I've been postponing it because I've been so busy, and it's like you know at least 49 minutes, 47 minutes long. Um, I'm like, man, when am I going to have the time? I'm going to make... Oh, I'm making the time right now. So thank you for watching. I'm going to stop talking so we can dive into this. Get in a comfortable position. Lay down. Whatever you're doing. Get your phone out. If you're at the desk, get comfortable. I'm at the desk. I got my I got my tea. I got my Russian tea. Uh, it's, it's my favorite tea, by the way, guys. I'm I'm not getting paid by them. I just love it. So I've been drinking it for years. It's uh, It's got rose petals in it. And it's literally the best tea you will ever drink. Trust me. Um Link to somewhere in description in the description. Okay, so I think I'm cozy. I think I'm ready to dive in. Let's let's go. Here we go. really quick it is it is kind of nice that i'm somewhat familiar with bts now watching this i feel like if i had watched this without experiencing a lot of the videos i have done so far i feel like it would have it i would have uh, reacted differently or, or hit differently so it's kind of nice because I, I am a fan of bts and i'm and i'm i'm excited to see you know hear their journey you know so um this is, this is cool Well, that's the Grammy performance. All right, I'm recognizing some of these parts. Okay. Yes, we have three rappers, four vocalists. We know this. Black Swan in the background. Right? Yes, Army. So I know some of this. I didn't know that. They won over 700 awards. Wow. 12 Billboard Music Awards. All right. Nice. Yeah, look at all that. Dynamite. Butter. Okay. I need to check that out. The, the MAMA Awards or MAMA Awards. I don't know how do you say that. 2019 Melon Music Award, Old Artist. Okay.
song. Awards go even beyond their music. Someone became the youngest recipients of the whatever order. Okay. From the Korean government. Oh, that's cool. Man, they look so young in this song. Oh, this is 2021, so it's not that long. They just look young. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so this is when they went to the UN? Okay, nice, and I, I, I reacted to that. You should check it out. They were invited to the White House. I, I wanna see that, I haven't reacted to that. Okay, there they are right there. I guess I'm reacting right now. <laughs> okay, their success is, it seems overwhelming, but it wasn't always this Room name BTS, Here's the story. seven member. Please come to our concert, you know K-pop? No money. No money? Yeah. Free? Were they, Free. they were on the streets? Just promoting themselves? Like, like independent oh, artists yeah. should be doing. Oh, Jimmy. Do you know K-pop? Do you know K-pop? So they're literally going around saying, do you know K-pop? Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, even from my point of view, my first introduction to what K-pop was, I heard of that term. In the industry, people were saying, hey, we're writing for K-pop. A lot of my R&B writer, writer friends and pop writer friends were like, you know, I've been writing these K-pop songs, going to South Korea. And I'm like, what is K-pop, you know? And um, and then by the time I actually heard K-pop, I think it really was BTS, the first song. Too. Okay. 2013, is that when they debuted? Wow, it's 10 years. Okay. It is not mandatory to practice. They were given freedom to do everything. Okay, I always wondered that. And they were allowed to participate. Okay. Okay. That's nice. To know. Oh, wow, they're all in one bedroom. Man, that's fun. You know what? I, I'm, that's why they, you know, I'm sure... You, they bonded well. I remember even in my, my, my boy band, the plus one days, we were all in a one bedroom apartment. Uh, there's only five of us, but in a one bedroom apartment, downtown San Francisco on the, on the, the rough side of down of of San Francisco. And, um, but that was really bonding experiences. Actually, one of the guys even was sleeping in the closet. There wasn't even enough room for everybody. We made like, it was a big walk-in closet and he slept in there. Um, but we would get up every morning and, and go and do like dance practices and stuff for like eight hours a day with choreographers and stuff. And it was just really fun bonding moments. That shot of them in the, uh, the dorm or, or their, the, with the, that, this right here, the bunk beds reminded me of, of kind of my, that time we're all together, small quarters. And, uh, it's, it's really fun. Those are memories you, you can't, you, uh, moments that's, you know, bond you forever. So even if, even if BTS were to break up or end i know they're on they're on uh they're on the army right now or the uh military military right now but um they'll they'll be bonded forever so they were made fun of their name i'm not even gonna try to say that bing tang i can't say the last one some of you guys have to let me know I, I'll, I'll google it which means bulletproof boy scouts Okay, and had minimal opportunities to perform due to their little influence, due to the little influence their company had on shows. Okay, so yeah, they were a small town. That's rough, you know. I because I remember, I remember even after my the big days of the boy band in America, it's like there was a phase where it's like I didn't want to tell people I was in a boy band. You know, it just felt like cheesy and everybody wants to do real instruments and we're a real band and and i felt ashamed of it for for some time now i'm not now i'm like it was fun it was cool it's almost nostalgic now but but that being said i i can kind of resonate with how they feel maybe i don't know good for them because you got youtube and they were able to connect with their fans YouTube is so great, isn't it? Thanks everyone who's subscribing and connecting. I love this that we have this community to, to talk. Okay, so that's really what helped launch them, I guess, was the internet too. YouTube. They were looked down by other hosts. You gotta keep going, man. I, there's so many stories of people who are successful. It's like, 
You believe in something, keep at it. Even if people are laughing around you, you know? What a, what a great reminder. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Yeah, so you got to, oh, so you got to like connect with them. It's outside of the music. That's probably why I'm assuming a lot of you feel very connected to them. It's not just like the music. It's like you got to, to, uh, yeah, connect with them on a, on a, here you see their, their lifestyle, you know? It's a great idea. During the pandemic, oh, was that was that a big okay? During the pandemic, pandemic, BTS found ways to entertain, stay connected with Army. That's so great, you know. I know a lot of people were doing that too, but um, yeah. Thankful for the internet. Huh? They even held multiple break record breaking. I missed that part. Something award. Okay, wait, wait. I want to see that. I gotta, I gotta rewind that back. Here we go. They even held. Oh, on oh. Record-breaking online concerts. Wow. Glad I paused that. Okay. Uh, 1.33 million paid online viewers. Woo! <laughs> Times how many the... Ah, oh, so much money. That's crazy. These guys. BTS. Their music uh, includes a wide range of genres. Yes, we know this. That's cool. Pop. Hip-hop. EDM. R&B. Latin pop ballads while singing about uncommon topics in, in K-pop like mental health and social justice cool yeah I like that it's not just like typical like we all love love songs right but there's some pop bands they're just putting out garbage honestly it's like cheap love it's just so empty I hate empty love cheap songs right it's like it's like sucking on a, a piece of candy that that is just cheap versus a nice quality piece of chocolate. <laughs> so I feel like BTS, you know, they got, they have some great lyrics. It's, it's purposeful. It's meaningful. And that's why you guys like. That's why I like. Oh, that's cool. You can feel he's honest about that. Those tears in his eyes. Yeah. Okay, let's hear the story. Kim. Oh, that's RM. Okay, I didn't know his real name. Kim Namjoon. Leader, main rapper, composer, songwriter, producer. Uh, born 1994? So, okay. I graduated high school in 1996. <laughs> At 13, became active as an underground rapper. Okay. Yeah, putting in the work. Okay, then he was signed after he got attention. Cool. Man, he looks young. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm. He debuted on stage named Rap Monster. My name is Kim Namjoon. Also known as RM, the lead up to the BTS. Yeah. We, we see he's yeah, he's definitely a leader. Cool. It's like a family. Yeah, there they are. You're the best leader. <laughs> you know every band I think every band needs a leader. Um Yeah. See my boy band, not to talk about myself, but I am here. <laughs> we we were really were put together by Atlantic Records you know we had we auditioned and were handpicked you know and and um I'll bore you with that story later maybe I'll just tell you now but um but there wasn't really a leader a leader was our manager and label kind of so it was kind of like we I felt like we were good at like trying to be political and make sure we all work together which I thought we did a great job but I do feel like the success of something longevity does need a respected leader who who lets ever everybody you know who leads properly. So that seems like that's, that's what's happening. We didn't have RM. Not a chance. Would be unimaginable. Okay, seriously impossible. There you go. You need a great leader. That's cool. 
그래서 wow, 저를 really 그런 respect 그런 그런 리더 역할 리더 자격 있는 사람입니다. They've done so many shows and things. <laughs> when I cook, he comes and offers. <laughs> Okay, this RM is a great cook, right? Dangerous in the kitchen, but clumsy. Intel, okay, I've heard this. Intelligent with an IQ of 148. Okay, here's the deal. I don't even know. Shows my IQ. I don't even know where the chart is of the IQ. Is that high? I'm assuming it is. How high does it go? <laughs> I'm... I'm these days, I've been starting to be too reliant on ChatGPT. At ChatGPT, it's dangerous. I got. I was actually thinking today. I was like, I got to make sure I'm doing some things to exercise my mind, so I'm not reliant. Like, when I have a question, I just pull up ChatGPT. You know, it's getting bad. Okay. Okay, I've seen that happen where he helps them like that right there. He helps them speak to chat. Speak English. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. I appreciate it. appreciate it. I can't choice. Oh, I can't choose. I can't choose, you know? No, I can't choose it. It's so hard. Okay. I don't choose. My wife uh, speaks Russian. She was born in Estonia. Um, Ukrainian blood, born in Estonia, left to come to America because of religious persecution years ago. But she speaks Russian. And um, she, in Russian, is hard. Russian is hard. Okay, um, but she'll say, "Man, it is confusing. All these stupid rules in English that don't, that don't even make sense. It is. It's annoying." It's one of, okay, Beats. RM is one of the main songwriters. Good to know. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Oh. For all, okay, so he's done uh, various collaborations with other artists. I gotta, I gotta check his stuff. This stuff, out. I haven't heard this thing. Reacting. Cool. Holds the record. The album with the most iTunes number ones. Wow. Okay, as of May, okay, okay. Uh, he's the second and youngest idol with the most copyright songs copyright, or copyrighted in South Korea. He goes live to tell ARMY about the process of album making. His inspiration, that's cool. Does he? I wish I would have, does he still do that? No, yeah, because right there in the, uh, are all five of them in the military, right? That's my understanding right now. Um... Man, I wish I I wish he would uh, do that still. I would love to to watch them go live. Any of, any of the cool. Oh, he's is that his Instagram? Jin got me a bicycle. Cool bike. Yeah. yeah, I wish there was another word better than I love you. It's because people say it and it's lost its meaning sometimes. Love is a verb. You just got to show it. All right. Sugar. I love that song. I reacted to it. Go check it out. I actually don't watch my reaction. I did a horrible reaction. I forgot to put the captions on. I was so taken back by just the movement. I didn't even care what he said. It was just so cool. Just the the vibe, the video, the track, the 808, the kicks. He he could say whatever he wants, and I and I was moved by it. But everybody got onto me. They're like, Lee, turn the captions on. And you're right. I I should have. And I just spilt my tea. 
on my computer. Wow. Okay, let's see if my computer still works. It's working? Are we working here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got some drama live. Uh, It's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> let's take a two-second break. Okay. Ah, oh, that sucks that I... Sucks that I lost all that tea. It went, it went everywhere. What I was saying before I, I dropped all my tea was, I, I just love Augustine. August, Augustine? Augustine. Am I saying it wrong? Augusty. Oh my gosh. Augusty. <laughs> I love Augustine. I can't even say his name. <laughs> At 13, he began rapping, okay, against his parents' approval. Isn't it always like that? <laughs> okay, I'm sweating. I, I gotta do a little dab here. Just running around, clean up everything, plus I'm in a sweater. Plus I got nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I left the video going, okay. Here we go. Take two and cut. Just kidding. <laughs> the audition. Cool. He was a second member. Oh, so it's just the two. <laughs> there you go. You see RM in the background. And then, uh, there you go right there. Oh, he chose. Okay, this is what I want to know. Why did he choose his name? He chose the stage name, stage name Sugar because of his favorite position in uh, basketball, shooting guard. Oh, Sugar, shooting guard. I did not know that. I had I thought it had something to do with sugar, <laughs> like a gangster way of saying sugar or something. Like he's so sweet. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> He didn't have lunch money. Take the bus. Huh. Oh. Did you see a lot of background? But backlash? Why? Wait, from Oh, from the underground rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. They're just jealous. Everybody, everybody underground or indie or legit, they all get jealous when you start doing real not real, but mainstream pop stuff. It comes with the territory. <laughs> oh, here he's making fun of it means sugar, like I thought. Okay. Oh, come on. You're making fun of him. Wear makeup. It's not makeup, it's a girl. It's like being a girl. Oh, right there in front of it. Wait, wait are they saying it right in front of his face? That. That's people insecure. If there's, they're bullying. They got issues. Yeah. Yeah, tell them. I like this track. Wow, that's cool. Wait. He was the most streamed Korean male solo artist on Spotify in 2020. Wow. Okay, 2008, he became the first BTS member to become a full member. Oh. Oh, of the uh, copyright for Korea. He's a main producer. Oh, okay. Out of the members, he is a main producer and even won awards. Cool. Suga. Huh. I wish I could meet him. If you're out there, hit me up. Um, although he initially wanted to be a rapper producer, he now enjoys life in BTS. Despite dancing, he was hoping to avoid. Yeah, I didn't want to be in a boy band. I wanted to be a solo guy at the piano. Let's see on my keyboards. You know, I just want to be a solo guy singing songs. I didn't envision dancing and singing, although I, I liked it. So That's how it goes. You, you can't plan out life. Right. 
탄소는단. Yeah, I like it. He's he seems legit. You know what? I know he's gone through some. Yeah, he openly writes about his past struggles and depression. It's like we don't want those things as humans. We don't want depression and you know anxiety. You know we don't, and I don't wish that on anyone. But I know people personally who go through that, and if you can get through it, man, you've got some. You've got some things you still got to deal with, but you do have a card that other of us don't have, and you have something you can uh, bring to the table, which you can see in his lyrics, the honesty. There's something of value that comes from that. It's like from pain and stuff comes comes something special. It, it becomes honesty, and, and um, you know, like I said, I don't wish that on anybody, but at the same time, you know, how how, how great is it that he was able to, to move through that and... and Become the artist he is. I don't give a shit, I don't give a fuck, it's not mine to jump with that. I can't let some get out of my mind. I don't do my body, but I turn up my head, they get to see your first and pen, I jump, and bubble book and so good. Or in a nice stuff, the audit of the post, you know, I'm going to do it. I don't know, I'm patient, and you might have even a lady who would like to offer that. Say so, time for that, and you'll never mind. Since you're not too much, I'm going to make it. Well, never mind. So he's saying that. Means he. Some, he's sometimes misinterpreted as cold, as he often... Oh, okay, he's quiet. Okay. Yeah. I think people who go through rough times just have the honest face, you know? A lot of us, including myself, I'm such a happy-go-lucky person that sometimes I just kind of... Everything's okay, guys, you know? And and um, and um, I don't always, like, show you my real colors, like, oh, man, it's a rough day today. <laughs> but that's also me. I have a really optimistic outlook on life, but... I'm being honest right now. I'm 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 having a good day. <laughs> I'm just sweaty. Like he care the other members, but he really does. Oh, 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 <laughs> He's, I sent it to two people, not just you. <laughs> oh, he wrote. That's funny. He plays the piano. <laughs> cool, man. I like him even more. Nice. What's his real name? What's Sugar's real name? Did they say? Oh, I must I missed it. Can you put it in the comments? I want so if I meet him. Do I call him Auguste D, Sugar, or his real name? <laughs> J Hope. So I wonder yeah, I guess I'll find out. When they were putting BTS together, were they Originally thinking it's just going to be rappers, because if it's just rappers right now, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Oh. Ten years old. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Taking lessons at a dance academy. Okay, so he's a dancer. Winning awards. Okay. He auditioned and became the third member. All right, so at, at one time it was like BTS is a rap group. As they're forming it, I wonder if they knew they were going to add other singers. I guess I'll find out. Cool. As a dance leader, he learns the choreography quickly and then guides the others. Cool, so everybody's got their role. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? 
I wonder if he cho choreographs Jesus. for others or, or would in the future. You know, sometimes it's overwhelming to think like if you're going to learn uh, to learn a choreography, I used to think that like, man, how in the world am I going to learn all these moves? Um, when you're practicing a bunch, you know, you, that's one way practicing but really the body starts to do like this muscle memory to where you're not even really thinking about it you just start doing it you know it's like like a song once you learn all the lyrics and then you start singing the song and you're like you're not really going okay i gotta sing that next part it's just muscle memory and it's coming out cool oh. cool freestyle dancing Different moves. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good dancer. Cool. Oh, yeah, I like this one. That's cool. He learned rap as a trainee. He practiced with RM and Sugar in the dorms and eventually got his own style. This is the first time I, I, I really yeah. noticed him. Was I did a reaction to this this performance. Uh, okay. Although he's a rapper. Oh, yeah, he also sings. That's right. That's why I, I remember thinking. I, they rap and sing. Cool. Okay, he also writes and co-produces. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's the way to go. Have a bunch of producers in the band. Solo mixtape. So, so they did what they call them solo mixtapes. When, when did BTS, BTS truly launch? I missed that date. It seems like this solo mixtape was uh, after he was already in BTS, right? Maybe not. Probably. Probably. Highest number of Spotify followers? 10 million? I wonder why. He's a K-pop soloist with the highest number of Spotify followers. Okay. Okay. In Pandora's box, in the in the myth of Pandora's box, a box filled with evil was unleashed to the world, and the only thing left was hope. J Hope wants to represent that remaining hope for the army and its members. When we have a favor or a concern, they go to J-Hope. Oh, he listens. He's a good listener. He's a, he's a group therapist. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he loves fashion and art too, just like RM. I'm sure they all love fashion and art. He goes with lots of musicians too. Fear bug. <laughs> snakes, yeah. Heights. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, who's next? Oh, Jim. Okay, yeah, yeah. Writer, songwriter, producer, composer, vocalist. Visual. What's visual? Is that like dancing or? I'm어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어요어
Wow, he went to university and graduated. Nice. Now all members have bachelor's degrees and are pursuing masters. Wow. They're pop stars. They're uh, graduates pursuing their master's degree. And they've now gone and, and entered uh, their military. It's like, ladies, these are these are the guys, <laughs> these are the men. <laughs> these are the guys that got it all. Just kidding. <laughs> as, a, as a theater and film, uh, okay, he plays it. Main character. Okay. Cool. I see. I see what visual means. Now. He's like an actor. He's singing different there than I remember Jin sounding like, but he's probably funny. Okay, uh, like, what are they using? Looks like, what program is that? I don't recognize that. Uh, I wrote all of them thinking, how would this melody sound? Change the melody about 10 or 20 times. That's a moment. He still produces a song. Oh, oh, songs for SoundCloud as a gift for fans. Cool, that's fun. There we go. Yeah. Rank number five magazine. It ranked number five in Rolling Stones magazine's greatest boy band songs of all time. Rolling Stones is calling them a boy band. I think it's okay to say they're a boy band. There's nothing wrong with that. I think they're the, the new real boy band. They're not the old American boy band like I was in. You know, this is this is this is different. But I think they're a boy band. Something wrong. Nothing bad about that. Every day I seem to find a way. Oh, I don't know this song. He's saying yours. Oh, for the drama. I'm not gonna say that. Jerusan, Jerusan, which became his second. O S T. What does that mean? Let me figure this out. To reach, uh, to reach a hundred um, iTunes number ones. Wow. Cool. When I go, it's like a movie. Uh, store. Uh, my fans. Oh, what my handsome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm enjoy. It. Yeah, I'm worldwide handsome. Yeah, hello. <laughs> That's funny. His visuals got him viral attention. He was the car door guy. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. That's what they refer to him as. Okay, the front door guy. Okay. And now Jokeling uses his nickname Worldwide Handsome. He's the, oh, he's. Oh, Jin is the oldest brother. In uh, BTS. Okay. Hey, I was, oh, the, I was the oldest, the oldest of my boy band. I know it feels like Jin. You know. uh, age is often determines hierarchy, but he doesn't use his power. Okay. I'm not stern either. Only when I'm disciplining my kids. Oh, he's doing this is like having fun. fun. I mean, that's what happens when you're in a band. Like Good memories. Making great memories. I wonder what it's like for them right now. In the, in, does anybody know? Any? Can we get updates? What's happening with them in, in the military? Oh. 
Jen, Jen taught him how to be happy, how to joy life. He likes living life by going, going with the flow, would do anything to make others smile. live to do eat gin where he eats and talks to army <laughs> he loves gaming and fishing Interesting. i like the idea of fishing but when i start actually fishing i'm like this sucks this is taking too long he even released a fishing song for fun on his birthday wow he really does love fishing <laughs> wow okay that's surprising I like this song. John Cook, let's go. Born in nine, born in 1997. Wow. I like that song. He auditioned for Superstar K. Okay, that's like a probably a Korean uh, competition. He didn't make it through. Yeah. Oh, because of one person, because of RM, really. He chose again. Wow. Side note, not to talk about myself, but this is my channel. It reminds me, I, I remember uh, in America, there was something on the Disney Channel, something called the Mickey Mouse Club, right? And uh, it was like, uh, they originally had the Mickey Mouse Club in the 1950s, right? And then it went away. And then they rebooted in the 1990s, the Mickey Mouse Club. And I, and I loved, I wanted to be on that show. I'd watch it all the time. I, th I think I was like 13 or 12. 12 or 13, maybe 14, maybe 13. And uh, I talked my dad into taking me down to audition. And uh, I, I went to, it was at a Marriott hotel in Florida, stayed at the, the Marriott. I got up early. I was the first person in line out of like 3,000 people, right? 3,000 kids. I was the first person in line. I thought, cool, it's going to up my chances. And I went in there and I sang and I danced. I, I sang and then I danced. And, um, and I was so, I had it so worked up in my head that I think I can do this. You know, I'm going to get in the Mickey Mouse Club. And I didn't make it. Um, I didn't get, I didn't get uh, picked. And I actually, it just hit me emotionally. I, m I remember crying, you know, and trying to hold back the tears. You know, I was crying. And I was like, oh, you know, it really, I was really like, oh, it sucks. And, um, but, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. I ended up doing the boy band thing. And that was so great. You know, we sold over a million records, met some, some uh, best friends, tour the world. Uh, it was so fun. So you never know. Just because you want to do one thing, if it doesn't work out, it might be a gateway or just just a learning curve to the next thing that you're meant to do. Oh, he got other companies offering. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Because of RM, interesting. Fifteen-year-old Jungkook was shy and missed home, but the members looked after him. He was only fifteen. Wow, that's young to join a group like that. All the attention from high school. That's funny. <laughs> I okay. Not, and I'm gonna talk about myself again. In plus one, we had a we had a guy, Jason Perry. He was the youngest member, and he was 17 when he joined. And we went and sang at his high school graduation. Well, <laughs> yeah, in a way, they they kind of yeah. raised him ish, you know. Wow. Yeah, those are influential years from 15 and up. You can shape someone's outlook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I felt that emotion. He's the main vocalist and the lead, and one of the lead dancers, and even a rapper. I didn't know that. Let me rap. How come I didn't know Joan Cook can rap? If we don't have Jungkook, it's a lot of damage. It's the same for every one of the seven members. Yeah. He's our main vocalist. He's an important position at the center of the act. He's a lot of, he has a lot of parts. There's no replacement for Jungkook. Let me translate. Jungkook writes and produces for BTS albums, and he has a SoundCloud as a gift for ARMY. Okay, his BTS solos, Euphoria, which I love that song, In My Time, I gotta check that one out, have spent 80 plus weeks on Billboard. This must be My Time. Oh, it is. Yeah, I see the title. Okay. Okay, I reacted to this one. I like that one. What's OST mean? Korean OST. So what is this? He is nicknamed Golden, however you say that, Mekne, uh, youngest, because of his talents in many fields. Did he? He, he ran track wow. and he's an artist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> like Bob Ross. <laughs> he's like, and boxing? And learning new instruments. Okay, and film and video editing. Creates videos of his trips and calls them gold, golden closet films. Where can we see these? Does he have a YouTube? Oh, he directed Life Goes On video? Cool. Jungkook has a deep love of ARMY and his members and is sensitive when it comes to them. Aww. Oh, yeah, they're like a family. Huh? <laughs> Wait, I just read that cop to caption. His heart. How tender you Joan Cook's heart, all soft and tender, but his body's the opposite. <laughs> Jungkook is slightly oh, feared for his <laughs> immense <laughs> physical strength. Cool. I wish I would have known about them more when they went live. Hopefully they'll do that again. Wow. Take song requests. Cool. I'll be there. Whenever you want me. Nice. <laughs> All right, who's next? Oh, v. I started to say, I, yeah, just because I heard the jazz kind of vibe, I was like, this got to be V. Okay. Kim. Uh, Tai Hung? Uh, guys, let me know how to pronounce that. I I I'll Google it, but okay, V. Taeung? Taeung? Alright, I like V. Yeah, 
V. V, is it true that you never actually intended on auditioning for BTS? You just went to the audition to support your friend. True. Really? Yes. 2011년 여름쯤에 비키도 오디션을 한번 본 적이 있었는데 그때 야 너도 볼래? 구경 꾸미던 제가 어네 준비를래요 해가지고. So we ended up doing it. Anything else? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah, because he's so cool. Although he was the last. Oh, he wasn't last to join. He wasn't the last to join. He was last to be known by the fans. 오래 전부터 멤버들이랑 같이 생활했다. 여섯 명 그룹일 줄 알았던 방탄이 일곱 명. 기다립니다. 잘난 것 하나 없는데 단 하나란 걸 알았어. 내가 꼭 갖고 싶지만. He has solo songs, which I love. I just recently did a reaction to. Okay, and he writes and produces oh, for his own projects. Yeah, he's got he's got an extremely different vibe than the other BTS thing. The, the, the jazz vibe, so cool. Oh, okay. Cool. He's doing music all over the place. What an earring. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Fake tattoo. Fake tattoo. Like that. You know what the purple means? Yeah, what is purple? Mean? I see the purple heart. <laughs> the last color. Purple means I love, trust. And love you for a long time. Okay. Thank you for the purple heart. I've seen some of that. Alright, <laughs> oh, hey, I missed that. Something about just what? Hang on. That's what I get for that. For a long time. And. I wish I could see it for a long time. Oh, just like the new. Color is now purple. Oh, and you'll often hear the terms I purple you or. Bur Burai? Hey? He likes to do live. It's called Criterion FM where he shares his favorite songs with his fans. Cool. Yeah. Boys and men. He plays trumpet and saxophone. Cool. Uh, Makes sense. 처음 봤을 때는 굉장히 독특하고 장난기가 많고 어디로 튈지 모르는 어떻게 보면은 우리 중에 가장 사람 Most down to earth out of them all. He's expressive, has a unique perspective on life. 아 이거는 아, 이거는 자 가자. 설마 설마 시 왜? 얘는 얘는 따뜻해요. 예. 그럴 거 같아. 예. 그럴 거 같아. 예. 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 <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> 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 That's funny. 
I got in the way. All right. Jimin? Yeah. Jimin. Was Jimin the last to join? I still like Jimin's voice. Okay. Jimin's story. He was top student. Dance. Okay. Busan High School of Arts. Wonder why? Why did they go for another member? Were they like, we need more than six? Or were they like, this kid's so good, we just got to get him in the band? I have a theory. It's probably because you can't have an even number of people in a band because for dancing, like you need, you know, somebody in the middle. And so with six, there's always it's just sides, you know. I wonder if that's what that is. That's why there's five in a group. One's in the middle. If you go four, you're like, eh. I mean, obviously there's groups with four people, but with dancing, you know, you need that odd number. I wonder. He's in Kurt. Okay, instructor encouraged him to audition for Big Hit. Yeah, he's for dancing. Tell him Bangtan is dancing on the floor. Okay, shortest training. Remember in 2012. It's only 10 years ago, right? 10, 10, 10, 10 years ago, BTS. Well, I mean, that's it seems like a long time, but at the same time, it's not to launch as big as they are. That's, that's pretty cool. He's such a self, selfless guy by nature, putting others before him. I feel like all the BTS guys are like that. Yeah, he's a good dancer. I don't think I've ever really seen him dance like that. Great idol that can do it all. What song is this? Oh wait, I've heard this. Oh, Filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I reacted to this. This is cool. It's now the most streamed SoundCloud SoundCloud song of all, of all time. I promise. Wow. Oh, cool! I know that. I gotta watch that movie. Uh, Marvel movie Eternals. I've been wanting to watch it. Now, now I'll watch it. Now, now that I know that they're singing in it. <laughs> Real quick, I literally let me see if I can. Uh, I gotta see my screen up here because the camera's in the way. I'm gonna Google. Korean OTS. What in the world does that mean? What is Korean OTS? Music that is used in dramas as background themes, opening credits. Okay. Okay, I never knew it was. It, that's what it was be called. So, okay, like background music, and opening themes. I gotcha. Okay. I now I know. Black Swan. I want to do a, another, another reaction video to Black Swan where I take the files and look at the files. Let me know if you'd be into that. I personally want to do that. I want, I want to see what's in there. Because when I first reacted to Black Swan, I was new at BTS, and I, I don't feel like I really got to dive in like I, I would now. You Oh, I gotta react to this video. Uh, lie. Oh, but I don't want to hear it yet. Okay. You guys have been saying I should check that out. I haven't reacted to Lie yet. I want to check that. That sounded cool. <laughs> I, 
I'm sick, guys. Oh, damn, bro. 50 sexy W. He's caring. We know this. Goes up to Jungkook, seeing that he's down. Okay, Jimin. Trained for over eight years in several martial arts, including kendo and taekwondo. But he got his black belt. I actually trained in taekwondo. And um, I got all the way up right before my black belt. And I was supposed to, uh, um, not audition, but test for my black belt. And I trained for it. And you know what? At the last minute, I, I was also, I was 14 or so. And I um, just, at that time, I was really getting more into, like, producing my own tracks and things like that and playing for music, playing at my church band and things like that. And I just decided, I just kind of got d tired of Taekwondo and um, I gave up on it. I didn't even do my black belt. I wish I would have gone and tried. I just ended up going, I'm going to go and do music. He he did Taekwondo and music. Cool. Yeah, a lot of dancers. I oh yeah, check this out. Yeah, a lot, I think Taekwondo helps with dancing. I mean, you can see it when guys. Oh man, he's good. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. That he's good. He likes to travel, collect Polaroids, work out, watch Netflix on his free time. I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> and I need more tea. <laughs> cool. It's fun. They all like to go online. It looks like the same room sometimes. So probably what? It's a room they go in and, and share probably. Yeah. Or or did at that time. <laughs> Uh -huh. Sometimes he gets shy by himself, so he brings others in. Yeah, I know, I know the feeling. <laughs> He's probably live. Yeah, when you're live, you can't undo or edit that. See, this is recorded. This isn't, this isn't live, so I can go and edit out anything. Although, I don't know if I will. Yeah, I spilled that tea. I might just keep that in there. We'll see. Maybe I'll fast forward the parts. Cleaned it up. Cleaned A lot of people. And lastly, ARMY! Wow, look at that shot. All together. So much energy. Anybody in the comments, let me know if you've been to a BTS show live. Raise your hand. Do an emoji with a hand or something. Or just let me know. That's cool. I want to go to a show where I get those lights. They all, they all sync up. Is it over? Enough. Actually, a lot of people are very curious about this, but it's very simple. There's 100% of success, and I put, I'll give 50, I'll give half to the armies. Yeah. It put sure. like 5% each, like 5% value, so that's 35. And I give 50, 15% to the Highland Bicket. If it's a trophy, my, you know, my percent is like five. I always um, try to realize that uh, for myself and it really helps me um, keep myself down to earth and I think it's True. really important it's good to, remember. to survive in this And you see that, industry. you see that in their, uh, how they interact. They continuously face hatred, racism, xenophobia, and only share positive energy. Yeah. Cool. All 
I like I like the Korean heart. That's cool, I didn't know they were in that. Cool. What cartoon is that? It seems like a Disney thing or something. <laughs> Army will go Army. <laughs> Army does stick together. Uh, uh. Yeah. You guys did a great job, Army. You guys, I mean, that's why I, I fell into this. It's like, you know, I did the one reaction, and then you guys, you know, there's mix. There's all kinds of people out there, you know, but as a whole, for the most part, everybody was so encouraging and, like, just uh, informative and helping me go down the rabbit hole of learning more about BTS, and it's fun. It's like a little, it's a, it's a big community of, of fans and out there that they have. The Korean band BTS donated $1 million to Black Lives wow. Matter. Well, on seeing this news, BTS fans, known as the BTS Army, pledged to match their donation, wow. raising another million dollars in less than 24 hours. It starts off wow. thinking, what do the boys love? And what are the things we can do in their name? That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Using... Everything for good. Helping it. That's what it's about. Helping everybody around in need. Don't be selfish. Look at that charity map all over. Cool. The armies, I know. And the BTS, you all know, we're all strong. We'll find a way. We always have. If there's no way, let's draw the map. The whole map again. Hmm. Whoa, look at that stadium. Wow. What an experience. Everybody singing those lyrics together. Oh. Yeah, look at them, they're moved. Wow, oh, how fun. That's cool, seeing them grow up. Is that it? That's it. Alright. That was that was great. I'm glad I did that. We'll vibe out to this song in the background. Wait, is there more? Okay. Yes, Army, thank you for letting me know about... I don't want to turn that music off. It sounds good. It's like my background music. Thanks for uh, letting me know about this video. And thank you for watching this. If you, if you stuck through and watched all the way through, thank you. I'm still watching it because they're saying thank you. Taylor, thank you for making that video. Uh, super informative and wow, took forever to edit that, I'm sure. Well, yeah. All right, thank you for the community. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, like and subscribe. And um, I'm going to put out some more reaction videos. If you got any ideas, any songs, uh, K-pop, BTS, or others, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.